Home prices continue to decline in most of the major Southern California counties, with the exception of Orange and Riverside counties, which both saw an increase in the median home value on a month over month basis from July to August. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the median home price for all of the major Southern California counties. And I'm gonna be showing you what has happened on a month over month, as well as a year over year basis. And then also talk about how far the median home price has declined since peaking back in April or May, depending on the county. I'm Tim Hamilton with StellarQuest Real Estate. And if you like to stay up to date on the housing market, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We upload monthly market updates as well as market forecasts from a variety of different sources. And if you enjoy watching this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button. It really helps us get these videos out there to more people. Now we're going to start off by taking a look at interest rates because they've been playing a very large role in determining how well the housing market is performing. We're going to take a look at Freddie Mac's primary mortgage market survey. And this data is released once a week on Thursday. And so we're looking at the most recent data that was actually just released today on September 1st. And they're quoting an interest rate of 5.66% with 0.8 fees and points being paid. Now you can see that interest rates have been very volatile since about May. And they got up here, peaked around 5.81% in June, came all the way back down to just under 5% at the beginning of August, and now they're all the way back up to 5.66%. And really what's driving the interest rate moves is kind of, you know, a lot of the talk that's coming out of the Federal Reserve and anticipation of what they're going to do with their federal funds rate. Now, the federal funds rate does not directly impact what happens with mortgage rates, but mortgage rates do tend to follow pretty closely to what the Federal Reserve is doing. So, you know, as we continue to get high inflation numbers and people expect the Fed to continue raising interest rates, that's where we typically get, you know, rising mortgage rates as well. Now, looking here, just one more source to show you interest rates. This one comes from Mortgage News Daily. And as of August 31st, they were quoting 5.99%. Now, I don't believe these numbers are considering any points being paid by the borrower, which is why they're typically a little bit higher than what you'll see on the Freddie Mac source. So now moving into the median home price, we're going to show you, and this is the median home price uh, for all property types and in all price ranges for each county. And this data comes from InfoSparks, which they get all of their data directly from the multiple listing service, which is where agents upload their listings to the public. So we're gonna start off here with Orange County, which is actually one of two counties that saw an increase in the median home price on a month over month basis. And in August of 2022, median home price was 990,000, which was up from $972,500 in July. So that's about a 1.8% increase on a month over month basis. And that's a good sign for the housing market showing that, you know, buyers are still out there purchasing homes and engaging in the housing market. Now, year over year, home prices in Orange County are still up 10%. So that's a very strong year over year number. But being compared to where they peaked back in April at 1,059,500, the median home price is down about 6.5%. So that's a pretty significant drop, you know, in a few short months. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see what happens from here, but, you know, most of the other counties are continuing to see price declines. So now we're looking at Los Angeles County. The median home price in August was 841,000. That was down from $861,676 in July. And so on a month over month basis, uh, the median home price dropped about 2.4% in Los Angeles. And home prices are only up 1.7% on a year over year basis. So not doing nearly as well as Orange County or some of the other counties I'm gonna be showing you. Now, home values in Los Angeles peaked in April and May at $900,000. 
And so since then, home prices have dropped about 6.6%. So a very similar level to what we saw in Orange County. And you can see the San Diego County is actually following very closely to what Los Angeles County did here. So moving on to San Diego County, in August, the median home price was $799,000. That dropped from $815,000 in July. So on a month over month basis, San Diego County saw about a 2% drop in home values. And year over year, San Diego County is still up 8.7%. Now, since peaking here back in May at 861,000, San Diego County, the median home price has dropped about 7.2%. Now, moving on to Riverside, the median home price was $572,400 in August, which was up from $570,000 in July. So this was the other county that did see a slight increase in the median home price. So on a month over month basis, that's about a half percent increase. And you can see that Riverside County is still up 9% on a year over year basis. Now, since peaking back here in May at $600,000, the home median home price in Riverside County is down about 4.5%. So you can see that Riverside County hasn't seen quite as significant a drop in, in home values as some of these other counties that I've that we've gone over. Okay, moving on here, we're gonna also look at Ventura County. And so in August, the median home price was 800,000, which was down from $842,166 in July. And so on a month over month basis, Home, the median home price dropped about 5%. So that's one of the bigger drops that we've seen from July to August. And then year over year, Ventura County, the home values are up 3.2%. Now, since peaking in April at $875,000, um, the median home price has dropped 8.6% from April through August. So Ventura County seeing, you know, one of the larger drops um, from their peak to today, and also one of the largest drops from July to August. Now you can see that Ventura, you know, County does kind of have some of these wider swings. So you never know what, you know, next month could, could pop back up a bit, but you know, for now it looks like Ventura County had a little bit of a, a rough month there. Santa Barbara County, the median home price for August is 625,000. That was down from $630,500. So on a month over month basis, uh, you know, the median home price dropped about 1%. And on a year over year basis, Santa Barbara County, the home prices are still up 5%. And since peaking back here in April at $681,000, the Santa Barbara median home price is down 8.2% from April through August. Now looking at San Bernardino, the median home price in August was $492,000, which was down from 506,000 in July. And so that's a drop of about 3% on a month over month basis. And the home prices in San Bernardino County are still up 7.2% year over year. So that's a pretty strong number. And since peaking back in May, the home prices have dropped about 5.3% from May through August. And then lastly, we're gonna look at Kern County here and the median home price in August was 332,000 which was down from 365,000 in July. And so that's a drop of about 9% on a month over month basis. And home values are actually down 4.7% on a year over year basis in Kern County. So this is the one county where prices are down on a year over year basis. And since peaking back in May, the median home price in Kern County is down 10.8%. So, you know, really, if you kind of look at this, what we're seeing is it seems like the, uh, you know, more southern counties like Orange County, San Diego County, Riverside and San Bernardino have all performed better than some of the northern counties, you know, surrounding Los Angeles. 
And on a year over year basis, they seem to be performing much better for whatever reason. So that kind of wraps up our median home price update for Southern California. Once again, if you liked watching this video, please hit the like button below and make sure you subscribe if you like to stay up to date on the housing market and leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. Are home prices going to continue to fall or do you think we're going to see a rebound here moving into next year? Let me know. Have a good one.